Welcome back. In our last tutorial, we're going to talk about dodge and burning. So after you remove all the blemishes and wrinkles and of that sort while retaining texture as much as you can, the one of the last steps you'll probably do is called dodge and burning. So let's go ahead and select this picture, right click, edit with Photoshop Elements Editor. We're going to zoom into the face of these beautiful people here. So let me get the zoom tool. Okay. And here you have these tools over here called Sponge, Dodge, and Burn. The Burn tool will make areas darker. So for example, uh, how can I show you? Um, you always want to make sure your exposure is low, but we're going to increase it just to show you what it does. But if you select the Burn tool, it makes areas where you paint darker. And in the Dodging and Burning world, you tend to want to do that on the outline of the face. And areas that are protruding, you usually want to make them brighter. Okay, so if I'm, if you can see here, I'm doing an awful job, but you see how it makes it darker, right? So if I switch the tool to dodge tool, this makes it brighter. As you can see here, it's making brighter. But of course, I'm doing it over the top just to show you. So let me go to edit, revert. Now, when using these tools, you'll notice that um, I was doing this in the background, so it's probably a good idea to duplicate the background first and then use the tools if you want to always use a low low exposure maybe around 0, 05 to 10 to 13 percent and then build up with each stroke okay you always want to make sure the protruding areas are lighter and the surrounding areas a little bit darker so it brings focus to the beauty of their face another way you can do this is to press alt click and then change this to soft light blending mode fill with a uh, light neutral gray and we'll call it dmb D and B. Click OK. And this will fill up with a gray. You don't see the gray because the soft light ignores the gray, but it will allow you to see the, the, the white or the black. And to do this, you select the brush tool. And we click the double arrow here to select black. Have a low exposure. And let me see if I can zoom in on the face a little bit more so you can see. Okay, so now when I paint, now when I paint with the black on this dodge and burn layer that's filled with gray, look what happens. You see how it darkens it? So I can, I'm just doing this quickly to show you how this works. Okay, and maybe darken up this area. I can also darken up his eyebrows if I wanted to, reducing the brush size. Darken him in a little bit more. Okay, maybe darken his beard down here a little bit more. See if I can maybe move the brush in a little bit tighter. See if I maybe I can't fix this area here. And then I can switch by pressing X on the keyboard to white, and this will brighten areas for me. So I want to increase the brush size, and I want to draw more emphasis to forehead. There you go. Oops, excuse me. Okay. And the cheeks. You always want to have the cheeks are protruding, so you make sure they shine more. And then maybe on the, the bridge of the nose, press X, and then kind of maybe go a little bit lower exposure here. And then paint on the sides of the nose if you can. Okay. Then maybe paint in the eye socket area to brighten it up. Oops, excuse me. Press Control Z. <laughs> paint with white in order to do that. Okay. You'd use a low exposure because you want to build up. Okay. Now let's click the eyeball to show you before, after. See? Before, after. It's subtle, but it works. And with the Dodger Burn, you can shape faces, uh, make eye sockets brighter, um, eyebrows darker, add some maybe color, texture, not color, but texture to the hair by brightening some areas, darkening some areas. So you can see how it works. It's powerful, but you do have to use it, um, build up gradually. 